Hello everyone! Today I'm gonna show you how to make your own nail polish rack. I love how mine turned out. Now I can actually see what colors I have and it looks really beautiful in your room. So if you wanna see how I got mine, then just keep watching! And here are the things you're gonna need. Foam board, silicone for mirrors or heavy stuff, ruler or measuring roulette, pencil and eraser, exacto knife and cardboard. I start measuring the backboard. I want mine to be 1 meter long and 40 centimeters wide, but you can make yours however you want. And then I'm taking an exacto knife and a ruler and cut the excess part. I highly recommend having a ruler as your guide because you want your line to be as straight as possible. Next are the sides and I'm cutting a 1 meter by 10 centimeters piece and then I'm measuring the middles and cut it in half so I have two sides. Then it's on to the shelves. I want mine to be 5 centimeters wide and 38.8 centimeters long because my foam board is 0.6 centimeters thickness and I have to reduce that so everything matches perfectly. I'll end up having 11 shelves, 10 actual shelves and one will be the top and as you can see you have to be really careful and patient while cutting because you want everything to be straight. If you got lost, here's a little recap of all the pieces and I also converted the measurements into inches as well so it will be easy for everyone. Now that I have all the pieces ready, I'm gonna glue them together and I'm gonna start with the sides so I'm gonna apply silicone put one side and then I'm taking a ruler and smooth out the silicone to make sure it dries nice and you won't be able to see it and then I do the other side and you can see how concentrated I was I just wanted to make sure everything turns out perfect and then I take a spoon and also make sure on the inside the silicone is smooth and then I cut another side but this is going in the middle because I was just thinking one shelf is pretty long 40 centimeters is pretty long and I don't want it to curve because the nail polishes are too heavy and I decided to cut another side but a little bit shorter. I reduced 1.2 centimeters so it fit perfectly. And after that dried, I let it dry for a few minutes, probably half an hour. And then I started applying the shelves. So all I did was apply silicone on all three sides and then I put it there and spend a few minutes to make sure it dried perfectly and it's in a great position so when it dries completely it looks nice because after that you can't move it anymore so just make sure you're happy with the position and the angle and everything and after that I took a little bit more silicone around it so I made sure everything is nice and seamless no gaps or anything and it looks good and again I took a spoon and some water to make sure the silicone is smooth and it dries really nice and you won't be able to see it by the way this silicone dries transparent so make sure when you buy one it doesn't dry white because it will be really noticeable i gotta say gluing the pieces together was the most time consuming part so whenever you're tired take a little break and then start gluing again Lastly, you need to apply some silicone on the back. Make sure you apply a pretty good amount. And after that, take a ruler again and spread it evenly so it looks something like this. And after that, you just have to put it on the wall, press it for a few minutes and then let it dry for a full 24 hours. And it should look something like this. And then you can organize all your nail polishes and you can see the colors and everything. And I think it looks really nice. 
I organize mine by the colors of the rainbow, but you can organize them by the brand if you want. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy my first ever DIY. And if you recreate it, be sure to send me some pictures on my Twitter or tag me on Instagram. Also, don't forget to check the description box for prices and everything. And this video is a collab with my good, good friend Ramona. She's so kind and very creative. I mean, look at her logo. She did it all by herself and it's so professional looking. I love it. So be sure to head over to her blog. I'll have the link down below and I will see you soon. Bye.